So if you guys are watching this video, you need that Moonstone. Guys, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Moonstone and a method where you can earn absolutely hundreds in minutes, people. Stay tuned. So Moonstone is very important to conjure literally everything within the room of requirement and its vivariums. So it's a material many, many people are going to want. And while today, guys, I'm going to showcase you an incredible farm I recently found, which you can reset and earn infinite amounts of this Moonstone. But hey, now I have your attention, guys. If you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so there's actually three easy ways to make Moonstone. Uh, we'll start with the basics. When you first come to the room of requirement, the Eek will teach you about the spells needed to edit this place. And while well, you'll have this one right here, Evanasco. This is used, guys, to basically transform all your wall paintings and the, the furniture that was in here as standard into Moonstone. And guys, if you do this when you first come here, every single picture on the wall, I mean, every chair in all the rooms you have, take them away guys and you will earn an absolute ton i think you'll probably earn 500 maybe probably a little less than that and it'll take you probably about five ten minutes to actually just get rid of everything all the pictures on every wall in every room or the, the chairs the tables whatever get rid of it all guys it just looks tacky anyway you don't need that shit. okay so that's that's the one way Another way, guys, is to actually buy these refineries. Now, these are purchased from uh, Tomes and Scrolls located in Hogsmeade, and it will cost you, I think it's 1,500 gold for the blueprint. And what these will do, people, is they will give you 10 Moonstone every 10 minutes, but you can only make three of these. So you can get a max of 30 Moonstone every 10 minutes, which is okay, I guess but it's not incredible not like the next farm i'm going to show you okay so yes i mean these will do afk i mean but you will have to keep coming back here every 10 minutes but yeah nah you want you want to do the farm guys okay so the farm takes place right here i'm going to run this route for you so you want to come to the open world map just like so and you want to come up to this part right here the Coral Ruins. This is the Flu Flame you want to come to. North Hogwarts region. So if you've got your broom, just fly across here and activate this Flu Flame. And what we're going to do, guys, with this farm is we're just going to make our way across to about there. And that's basically where it ends. I mean, you can come down a little bit here, uh, which I'll probably do to show you. But I mean, it's inefficient. To just You may as well just end it right here and you'll see this in a second. But there's an absolute ton of these uh, moonstone bricks these rocks these crystals are along this run and i'll show you right now now uh, i'll also show you then how to reset it so you can just basically farm this over and over earning hundreds upon hundreds in minutes guys so the run itself will probably take you about five minutes tops uh i've had reset this since i've last been here i don't think i have if i haven't i'll show you how to do that uh okay so no i haven't reset it so to reset this guys all you need to do is skip time but you need to skip time by three days so to do this you need to do, go into your menu go to your map and do this six times because this will only change it 12 hours it'll go from night to day and then from day to night which is just 12 hours so doing it twice will be 24 hours but you need to do it three days so you need to do this six times now i have been away from here for quite a while so it's probably already uh, gone a few days either way so i'll just speed this up guys so you don't have to watch this it's a bit boring but yes yeah, three days all together so six times you need to skip that and you should be good okay so time has been skipped and now guys from here just jump on your broom and you want to come this way simple path you'll come across this uh, little bridge here and you'll see your first set of moonstone rocks right here and remember your value will highlight them all in yellow but yes, I'll probably take my little bit of time. But once you get this route down, guys, you'll see you can do this so quick. It's unbelievable. So that's the first set. Come down here, people. Keep coming. There's a few more. Just keep using that Revelio. There's a few there too. Don't worry about going up there. Come this way. There's more around here. Just like so. And now we're going to cross the water and go over this way. We are going to come back up this side. But hey, there's more across here first, which we want to get. So 
Let's come over this way, just like so. And you'll see there's a couple up here, which are there. Right there. You will come across a couple of enemies, but hey, you can just run straight past these. You'll notice as well, guys, that some of them are locked inside. They're inside the rocks. I noticed this earlier. Completely weird, but yeah. Don't worry about it. There's only a couple anyway. You ain't got to worry about them. The ones that are locked inside of the rocks, just ignore them. And let's come this way. No, don't lock onto them. We don't care about the enemies. There we go. Now come over here and jump down this way. Just like so. You see that there's more in them rocks there, which is completely weird. <laughs> weird. Don't know what's going on with that. And then we're going to come over this way, just like so. Come past these guys and more on your right hand side, right there. I'll reveal all them just so you can see them. No, don't get any enemies. So you go past them guys. And then we cross the water right here. And then we work our way back up. And you'll see there's more here, more here. Use that Revelio again. You see them all there, those beauties. No, stop it. There we go. More there, more there, and more there. You gonna like, don't leave one then? Yes, I did. So there we keep going this way. There's more here. One there. And then we go back a bit further and I'm sure there's a few more rocks right here. There we go, just there. And then guys, we're going to turn back and we're going to go up this hill. Because there's more yet, people, there's more yet. And like I said, you can reset these so you can constantly farm these. And there's probably even more in the air. I just wanted to keep the route nice and short and simple. But there's more in the area, guys, no doubt about it. So you want to ignore these enemies and come over to this cliff right here. And let's jump down right here. And there's ro one rock right down there, which, I mean, it's not important. Well, you're going to get it anyway. So you can ignore that if you want to. It's only one. Then we come back down this path. And we go down towards this way. Just like so. Just like so. And then we're going to turn a left here. And there's loads more rocks here too. You see a more highlight here. There we go. More there, people, and more down there. Give me that. No, I don't want you enemies. Get off the mask. Now I'm just going to go this way, guys. And there we have it. Nope, stop concentrating on them. And we're almost missed one. There we go. And there, guys, from here, you simply... I mean, can, there's a couple more down that way, but I think it's just out of the way. Don't really need to go and get them. I mean, from here, if the enemies ain't on your ass, the enemies are on my ass here. So I'm just going to use my broom. Get away from them. Just land there. And then, guys, you just want to make your way back to that flue flame. Simple. Then what you do, guys, is, like I said, you'd skip three whole days. That means you need to go to your map and pass time six times in doing this this farm will reset and these will be back here for you to farm and it really is that simple guys so you can rinse repeat this over and over and i'll quickly speed up the video of me doing this now so you can see that it works but yes guys this is by far the quickest way i have seen in this game to earn these moonstones so if you want to build a masterpiece inside your vivariums but you need that moonstone to do it well, this should help you out, guys. But, guys, if you do enjoy that video, leaving a like it really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. And, hey, if you want to join my Hogwarts community over on my Discord, your, that is linked down below. Come over, chat, talk about the game, do what you got to do, people. But, guys, thanks, as always, for stopping by. And people, I'll see you on that next one.